A Shrouded is filled with surprises and you would be surprised how much you didn't knew about them yet. In the past couple weeks, I've spent over 60 hours exploring the early access build and found some amazing survival hacks you want to know about for any adventures ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. My name is Foriam and in today's guide, I'm going to share 15 essential survival hacks you want to know about to not survive but thrive in Enshrouded. From breaking into houses and quick travel repair hacks to healing like crazy and OP gear farming. These are only some of the many tips and tricks covered in today's guide. So what are we waiting for? Let's get right to it. You might be surprised how easy it is to break into houses in Enshrouded. Even when you run out of metal scraps to make your own lockpicks, you can simply take out your pickaxe and swing a couple times at the walls right next to the locked door, as this can break the barrier between you and the sweet treasure inside the house. If your pickaxe swings make heavy sounds like breaking metal, stone or wood, you can break the walls. While if you hear a weaker sandy sound, that means unfortunately it's not. Definitely be sure to use this method on many different locations as you would be surprised how many of them you can break into. But what about digging a tunnel all the way to the top of the world, to the pillars of creation, as this one allows you to easily access pretty much everything the world of Enshrouded has in store for you easily cover hundreds of meters of distance with your glider to not only spot but also map important points of interests you want to know about as quick as possible. This is going to become even more efficient when you have a glider on steroids. The standard glider is pretty decent when it comes down to covering certain distances, while if you upgrade it, all this is going to become so much easier. While you're at it, also pick up the double jump in your talents as well as the updraft. This combo will make closing gaps so much easier, even with very little height differences. Now that we've reached this town, why not talk about my absolute favorite snack in the game? Honey. Oh honey, this is such an amazing one to get your hands on and farm as much as possible during your adventures, as it comes with an insane stamina recharge bonus. It lasts for 3 full minutes and literally is your stamina recharge on steroids. Eating this snack will make chopping down trees and mining ore so much easier. Trust me guys, you want to have this with you at all times, which can be farmed a lot in Willow Crush, a pretty small town to the southwest of the ancient spire Revelwood. The next one in line I like to call the Valheim Portal, as all Valheim veterans out there know that if you bring a portal with you during your adventures, this is going to make quick travel to your base so much easier. If you mine a couple stones and build a secondary, third or maybe fourth flame altar, as this will instantly place a checkpoint on the world, which you can use to quick travel back to your base. Quickly repair your gear, stock up an ammo, and also do a little bit of resting for that comfort bonus. A crazy tip about comfort in a second, but let's travel back to the location and talk about another one to basically repair wherever you are. Crafting a workbench is not that expensive, so why not bring one on your adventures? You can instantly repair your gear and pick it up afterwards, so you don't have to leave it behind. Keep it in your inventory at all times. The next one I like to call Fortnite Bridging. Don't ask me why, but this one is pretty OP as well. I mean, if you're having difficulties scaling terrain, especially get on top of cliffs, this one can help you big time. Slap down a flame shrine, then take out your workbench and make a couple of those stone blocks. Now you can make your staircase to heaven easily reach much higher places, especially if you combine it with a glider trick I gave you earlier. Another trick, pretty OP, and I think it's going to be patched pretty soon, so not worth talking about too much, is simply spam click your jump and deploying your glider, easily scale cliffs and mountaintops without having to deploy a flame shrine. If you lost a lot of HP or just got back from a corpse run, you're probably gonna have to patch up yourself, heal up a lot of HP. This can be pretty challenging if you don't have the appropriate gear for it, like rings with health regeneration. That's why I recommend you to always have a stack of purple berries and bandages at your disposal, as the combination of these is literally healing on steroids. The purple berries come with plus 2 health regeneration, while the bandage heals 4% of your maximum HP every second for 10. 
Before we move on to the next hack, I'm pretty sure many of you guys are looking forward to playing Enshrouded on a server together with friends. This is where I can help you out as I happen to be partnered with G Portal and I can give you a pretty sweet discount on their servers. I've been using their services for many years now for my own community servers for Valheim, V Rising, Rust, but now also Enshrouded. They offer a competitive price for literally hundreds of game servers worldwide. Grab a nice discount with my G Portal ref link in the description. Not not only will you support your own wallet with it, but also the channel. So GG. I'm going to warn you guys about this one as I find it's pretty overpowered, but guilty of charge. I've been using this one a little bit myself as well, but also covered in my ultimate beginner's guide, which you can find in the top right of the screen, by the way, if you're new to the game, just a little bit northeast of the starter area, you can basically jump down with your glider. This will bring you to a small watchtower right in the middle of the mist, which actually isn't in the mist. Inside the building, you will find a treasure chest, which you can very easily pick up if your base is close to it. After that, you can simply use your grappling hook to get upstairs and quick travel back to your base. Even better, if you're the server owner or simply playing single player, return to the main menu, restart your server and revisit the location. As right now, all the loot will be respawned. You can take that chest once again, rinse and repeat this farming method to basically get your hands on a ton of items. For this method, it's important to know about the shroud quick travel. This is normally not possible while in the shroud, but if you keep your eyes open for those gray dots on the map or simply gain some height advantage, you will simply get out of it and then you actually can use the quick travel to get to your base. If you combine the two methods, you'll be able to infinitely farm for runes and basically upgrades for your character. As if you visit a blacksmith in your base, this is where you can enhance your equipment. All the trash loot you come across, you simply salvage this for runes, which in return give you some pretty sweet upgrades on any equipment with slots you come across. Before you salvage anything though, it's very important you focus on raw damage, as this is going to make your character a lot more powerful. I picked up an epic bow earlier of level 3 with 7 power, which does look pretty cool with those 4 upgrade slots, but if we upgrade it a couple times, we only have 10 power. Well, if we look at my forest longbow without any upgrades, this one already comes with 21 power, which is more than double the amount. And if we upgrade that, it's actually going to scale much higher. So be sure to focus on raw damage numbers as these are going to make a big difference in terms of dealing damage. Did you know you can also home jack places or simply take them for yourself? Well, this is also something I only came across after many hours of playtime. If you find a pretty sweet house, what you can do is opening the door or using my breaking in method, which I talked about earlier. But if you place a flame shrine inside, you can basically dismantle all the stuff inside, which in other words will give you a ton of free resources. So you don't have to chop down trees or whatever to get these materials. Some houses in the game, like the Blue Goblet Tavern, are actually beautiful. So why not just settle down right here, pick up some sweet treasure and do some resting near the campfire. I'm sure you will absolutely love this for your early game adventures. Since we're talking about cool points of interest you can visit, why not make this even more efficient by upgrading your glider game? Why not build a tower right next to your base with a couple grappling hook attachments so you can gain height, deploy your glider to reach distant lands. I've been using this for a while right now to easily farm for resources around my base with all the different landmarks which are around it. If you want me to make a base tour video by the way, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. But let me give you one more tip inside the base for some gut tier comfort. By default, it's only going to be possible to have like 5-10 minutes of resting. But what if I told you, you can easily reach over 30 minutes, more than half an hour of comfort, which in other games was pretty tedious to do. Well, just visit the carpenter, as right here you can find all sorts of comfort upgrades. So be sure to pick up every single one of them. This stupid lamp right here, for example, already comes with plus 5. After placing it, we go from 32 to 35 minutes of bonus. Why not also make this beautiful stone lavatory while you're at it? I'm sure this lady is gonna love it. Here we go, 39 minutes. You can already have five minutes for free, by the way, if you pick up the well-rested talent 
as one of the first, which I think is very much recommended. But there you have it, 15 essentials you want to know about to make your adventures in Enshrouded so much easier. Some of them tips and tricks, while I think others are definitely hacks, which you should be using at all times. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to hit that like button, already very much appreciate it. And yeah, grab a nice discount with my G Portal ref link in the description. If you want to join Discord, you can find it right there as well. Right now though, it's 4am out. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as a lot more is coming your way. But I want to thank you for watching. I'll check you in the next one. Take care. Peace.